Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. You may or may not know this, but it is National Anti-Bullying Month. Bullying is one of those things we all go through, at least during one point of our lives, including me. I have been bullied my whole life, even by people who I thought were my friends. As I've said before, I have high-functioning autism. So, I'm a pretty easy target for bullies. A year ago, I made a video called My Bullying Story in honor of Anti-Bullying Month. Well, my bullying experiences don't end there. This is going to be part two of my bullying story. I'm going to be telling you even more bullying stories, and I hope you can relate to them. Let's get into these stories, shall we? It all started when I was in elementary school. Because I'm autistic, I was considered an outcast all throughout elementary school. I was mainstreamed starting in kindergarten, so of course I was the only one in my class with a disability most of the time. I stood out among my classmates. In my elementary school, your whole class sat together during lunch, so I didn't sit by myself at lunch or anything, but during recess, nobody wanted to play with me. Whenever I tried to play with other kids, they would avoid me and say things like, you or go away or we don't like you i wouldn't say this was bullying more like social rejection but i still felt really bad about myself in elementary school because no one liked me it was definitely because none of the kids at my school understood my autism but back then even i didn't know what autism was because my parents didn't tell me yet so I thought that I was just a weird and unlikable kid. The only other kids who liked me were the ones who also had disabilities. So I just played with them during recess. Either that or I would just play by myself on the playground. Looking back, I should have just accepted that the other disabled kids were my true friends while the neurotypical kids weren't. I was also badly bullied in middle school. I got bullied by a group of girls who I thought were my best friends. They only pretended to be my friends, being really friendly towards me and saying things like, you're our best friend and we love you, just so they could bully me. Their bullying was very obvious because they pushed me around and laughed at me, but I believed that they were my friends, so I thought they were just teasing me. In middle school, because we started following schedules instead of being in the same class all day like in elementary school, we were allowed to sit wherever we wanted during lunch. I decided to try sitting with my friends, but there was never any room at their table and they didn't even bother to make room for me. I ended up just sitting at a table by myself. And it was the table right next to my so-called friend's table. It didn't bother me all that much because we only got about 20 minutes for lunch anyway. So I just ate my lunch during that time. But looking back, it was pretty embarrassing for me to just be sitting by myself. Even my favorite teacher back then, the one who actually appeared in one of my videos a few months ago, saw me sitting by myself every day when she would get her lunch. There were a couple times where some nice girls would come and sit with me, or they would ask me if I wanted to sit with them, which I thought was really sweet of them, but I was very clicky with my best friends and only wanted to sit with them. Every day at lunch, I would sit by myself at the empty table next to my bully's table, and I could tell they were laughing at me and talking badly about me while watching me sit by myself. Not only did they bully me, but they bullied other students too. One day when I was in middle school, some boys who were sitting at a table nearby were acting really immature, which is actually a normal thing in middle school. But my bullies decided to throw food at them as a way to get back at them. Now, throwing food is normally not allowed in school. I watched my bullies throw food at those boys until one of them got a teacher involved. That teacher told the principal what happened and my bullies got in trouble. They got detention. I then entered high school, where I got bullied even more. I've always had trouble making friends due to having autism, so I decided to join clubs at my school so I could meet people with similar interests. Even back then, making videos was one of my passions even though I didn't really have a YouTube channel back then. And my school had a video club. 
I decided to join the video club because I was very interested, and I met some really nice and very computer smart people. People I could actually relate to. However, the majority of the video club members were labeled as outcasts or nerds because of how smart they were. I made a few really good friends in the video club, but my bullies in high school started bullying them too. They were already bullying me because of how smart I was, and they thought my new friends would be bad influences on me. One of my friends from the video club, a very shy, awkward, and nerdy guy, had nobody to sit with at lunch. Just like me when I was in middle school. I sat with my bullies during lunch because, again, I thought they were my friends. They let me sit with them, but they would pick on me when I sat with them. I sat with them anyway because I believed they were my friends. My friend from the video club asked to sit with me during lunch a few times, which I said he could, but my bullies wouldn't let him sit with us. They said things like, you're not cool enough to sit with us, and we don't want a loser sitting at our table. He didn't end up sitting by himself, but he did end up going to the library every lunch period to do his homework instead. He ended up feeling a lot safer in the library. My bullies also started picking on another one of my friends from the video club. She was one of my only true friends in high school. She was genuinely really sweet to me, and she genuinely liked me, but my bullies decided to talk badly about her behind her back and even spread rumors about her. I told the video club advisor, my favorite teacher at the time, about my friends from the video club being bullied. I don't know what happened after that, but they never got picked on again after I spoke up. I haven't talked to those friends in a really long time because I don't have any contact with them, but I still really miss them. They were some of the greatest friends I've ever had. Not only that, but I was very skinny back then. People would call me a twig, ask if I eat enough, and tell me that I needed to eat more. The thing is, I ate a ton, and I mostly ate junk food and sweets, but I was still really skinny. I even ate in front of people, so people could tell I wasn't anorexic or anything. But my bullies decided to start a rumor that I had an eating disorder and was going to the bathroom every day after lunch to throw up. None of what they were saying was true at all. Even back then, I knew what eating disorders were and knew never to go that route. But even my teachers started to get concerned and they told my guidance counselor, all because of a stupid rumor. I was called down to the guidance counselor's office all because of something my bullies lied about. The good news is, now that I'm older, I'm no longer underweight like I was back then. I've definitely gained weight since then. Another time when I was in high school, I had to do the baby project for my health class. I had to take care of a baby simulator doll for 24 hours, and everything that happened to the doll or was done to the doll got recorded. And if anything bad happened to the doll, you would fail the baby project. Well, throughout the day, my bullies purposely tried to do bad things to the baby doll I had to take care of like hitting it, hanging it upside down, and even throwing it across the room, lowering my grade on the project. I was very upset and kept telling them that it was a project for my health class, but they didn't care. My bullies were in my science class and were also doing it there, and my science teacher actually noticed and told them to stop. She was such a wonderful teacher. I couldn't have asked for a better teacher. I didn't fail the baby project, but I got a B on it. I also had to take care of the doll at home, where I was actually safe from those bullies. After high school, I continued to get bullied. I didn't go to college. I went to a vocational school just for people with special needs. Anyways, during my first couple years at this school, I had a classmate who had high-functioning autism like me but he got pleasure out of picking on me. First off, he liked to have fun at my expense, just like my bullies from the past did. For example, as you may already know, they recently came out with the Alexa Echo Dot, and my name is Alexa. So this guy started to talk to me like I was an Echo Dot as a way to have fun at my expense. You may be confused because people with autism normally get along with each other, 
But this was an exception. And that's all the bullying stories I have for you today. I hope you found this video to be enjoyable and relatable. As I said in my bullying story from last year, please know that you are not alone if you are a victim of bullying. You are not the only one who has ever been bullied. If you are being bullied, try telling the person bullying you to stop or leave you alone. Or you can tell an adult like your parents, a teacher, your principal, your guidance counselor, anyone who will help put a stop to the bullying. Gather all the evidence you can, like have a video camera or tape recorder on you so you can record everything. Or if you're being cyber bullied, take pictures of all the hurtful messages. If you are a bully, you probably have low self-esteem, but making other people feel bad is not the right way to boost your self-esteem because you're only hurting someone else's self-esteem by doing that. If you bully someone, you could cause them to feel really bad about themselves, or even hurt or kill themselves. Do the right thing. If someone wants to sit at your lunch table, let them sit with you. And if you see someone sitting by themselves in the cafeteria, either go sit with them or invite them to sit at your table. Also, if you see someone upset or crying, Go up to them and ask them what's wrong. Be a true friend to someone who's being bullied because it'll mean a lot to them and make them feel a lot better. I hope this advice helped you. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.